I'll explain what I'm doing here. I'm running some through with the stock spring and then I'm going to switch and put one of these power springs in. But I want to see what kind of velocity change I get from having that power spring. And I'm using a 10 round mag with nine rods and only shooting the first five. There's a reason for that. But this is testing them springs. What I was trying to do here was figure out, you know, I shot some with my stock spring, then I switched to this power spring, which is you know, pretty near two inches longer. So she's kind of a bugger to get in there, but I got her. But though it's longer, if you look close, you'll notice the coils aren't as tight as what the stock spring is. So I would say, you know, it is only $11, so it's not a big expenditure. But if your stock spring isn't all kinked up, I really don't see any advantage in going to the power spring. You know, it's nice that they're available uh, if you need to replace a spring, but I didn't find a great advantage. I'll kind of run through some numbers. I mean, sometimes it actually was even a disadvantage. Like here, stock spring, my average velocity was 1651. Now the power spring, 1640. So it actually dropped 11 feet per second. But the variance closed up a little bit. And that's what I'm really working at here is trying to figure you know, because yeah, you, you can't get accurate until you get the velocities close. Or consistent, you know, as consistent as I can. Uh, this one, I had a problem in that I did have that error in there, so that kind of skewed the numbers. But, yeah, I, that was with the plated, not something I'd normally be shooting. But I had them loaded, so I figured I'd try them, but then one screwed up. Okay, this was with the cast. This is with the stock spring. And, and here's what I liked. With the stock spring, there was very little variance in there. You know, my low 1548, high 1563. Well, over here, the low is much lower, or, you know, considerably lower. The high is only slightly higher, but it actually spread out a little bit with the power spring compared to the regular stock spring. And the average speed is a little slower. So, no real gain in that. You know, like I say, it's a toss-up. I'll, I'll leave it in there that I fought to get it in there, but the next time I take the gun down, I'll probably put my stock spring back in. But, you know, this with the stock spring, I liked it because it was consistent. You know, there's something you have to understand. You know, when I read these numbers back off of the chronograph, it shows you the last shot first. So you have to think backwards like that. See, here's a consistent problem when using... The, the original five round mag, you'll find your first shot <laughs> will always be the high number. Okay, here's, um, um, <laughs> it gets confusing, but here's uh, something I did with just the stock mag. Okay, you'll, you'll see this all the time. You'll see the first this is actually the first shot will always be your high number. The second shot will always be your low number. That repeats over and over again with a stock mag. Uh, 
that's why that anomaly in there with the stock mag and that's why with these I was running nine shots in a ten shot mag and only shooting the first five I get better consistency but that has to do with this interrupter deal and I'll go into that another time but like I say this with the stock spring that looked good to me and that actually was my most accurate well even with the power spring in there, it's still uh, you know, pretty good and pretty accurate. You know, I wasn't concerned about accuracy now, but I was trying to sort out those deviations in there. But, what this is really about is the power spring. Is it worth it? Eh, you know. Not something I do Unless, like I said, the spring was kinked up. Oh, it's good to have a replacement on hand. But there's no big advantage. There's no more power to the power spring. In fact, as it shows, less. Only slightly. But even that I can live with if it's more consistent. But I didn't see the consistency there either. You know, there I think the, the stock spring was better. So unless you really boogie your spring up, I wouldn't bother. <laughs>